All right, so tonight's problem from the CACS problem set. Uh, the instruction goes as follows. Your task is to count for k equals to 1 up until n. The number of ways two knights can be placed on a k by k chessboard so that they do not attack each other. All right, so how knights attack in chess, uh, for those that don't know, uh, if a knight is placed in this uh, square here, for example, uh, he will be attacking uh, these uh, squares, which I mark with a blue X, okay? Uh, so the logic here is that uh, we move uh, either vertically or horizontally two squares. So let's say we go upwards two squares, and then we are either we, we either attack the left uh, the left square or the right square. So the same uh, the same uh, can be seen like if we move to the right side, we're either going to attack upwards or downwards. Okay. Um, so that's uh, that's the simple logic of how a, a knight attacks. Okay. Uh, let me just clean that. Right. So let's go back. Um, and the input here we get is the integer n, and we have to print n integers, which is the results for each value that uh, k can take, okay? Uh, the maximum n is 10,000, and here we have the sample input, which is for n being equal to 8. So here I would like to uh, highlight the, the corner case here, which is the one by one chessboard, uh, for which um, the result is zero. And why is it zero? Is because in chess you cannot have uh, two pieces, so for example, knight one and knight two here being on the same uh, uh, square essentially okay only only one piece uh, can occupy uh, a certain uh, square in a certain moment uh, in, in, in a certain state uh, in chess okay um, so yeah uh, that's the instruction now that we got everything we made everything clear uh, let's move on to the solution all right so for the solution here uh, what I did was just to read uh, n in and then just have a for loop here that goes from 1 up until n uh, for all the values that k will take. Uh, here, for the namesake, I used, uh, uh, I, I used k to be the variable of my... Uh, to, to be a variable where I save uh, the value of i. Uh, my template here uses i as the index, okay? So uh, I'm just saving this value to an integer k just for the namesake um, uh, that the instruction gives here, okay? Uh, then I just look at the corner case, which is for k being equal to 1. So for the 1 by 1 chessboard, the answer is 0. Uh, and then for uh, I'm just continuing from this point. Uh, and that means uh, for other cases which uh, for which k uh, is not equal to 2, we're just going to move to this solution that I have here, uh, which is what we're interested in, essentially. So my solution here uses five categories of knights. So what does a category represent? It represents how many uh, other squares does my knight attack, okay? Uh, this sum line here is essentially the number of knights that for a certain k uh, belong to, to categories uh, 1, 2, 3, and 4, okay? So I'm just using this sum uh, to remove them from the fifth category, essentially, okay? Now, uh, let's look at the categories one by one. So the first category is about the edge knights, okay? Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use a 6x6 six six chessboard here because um, this, is the, this is the first uh, value of k that we meet uh, for which all of these categories appear, essentially, okay? So uh, let's just draw a rectangle here, right? So let's make it a 6x6 six six rectangle here. Exactly, so 6 by 6, yes, that's correct. Uh, let me just expand it a little bit. There we go. So uh, the corner the corner knights, which is the first category, I'm just going to use numbers here. So uh, a knight which is uh, in a corner will only attack two other squares, okay? So essentially, uh, placing a knight in a corner cell will um, remove three possible uh, squares from where the second knight will be placed, okay? So if we place uh, knight one here, let me just draw this, knight one here. So uh, the, the second knight can be anywhere uh, apart from these and these uh, squares, essentially. So it can be here, it can be here, it can be here, and so forth, okay? So what we need to count is how many uh, squares we are missing uh, for the second knight, 
uh, for every category. So for the first category, as I said, which is the corner, uh, the corner uh, squares, what we are missing here is uh, three. Okay. So uh, the multiplication I'm doing here is just using combinatorics. So how many positions? Can, how, how in how many positions can the first knight be? And that is four because uh, only four squares belong to the first category. Okay. So uh, the corners essentially. And in how many other uh, positions can the second knight be now? And that is k by k, so the entire chessboard, minus 3. And that's exactly what we explained, okay? So the position of the knight and the two uh, other squares that uh, the knight threats. Um, so that's the first category. That's the equation for the first category. Now for the second category, these are the knights, uh, 8 uh, in particular. Uh, which uh, will threat three uh, squares plus one, which is the square that they occupy. So uh, they will uh, subtract four from the number of possible squares that the second knight uh, can occupy. So let's look at the second case. So the second case, let's draw this with a, uh, let's go with a pink here. So let's say that the knight is placed um, here, okay? So this is the second case. So for these cases, uh, let's take one example. So from this position here, what are the squares that I'm attacking? This one, this one, and this one. So three squares, okay? And the same goes for all of the all of the squares uh, marked with this two that I'm using here, okay? You can go ahead and yourselves draw and see that this uh, category, number two category, will always attack only three uh, squares. Um, right, so... Uh, essentially, we have how many how many knights do we have belonging to this second category? It's eight. Okay, so for every corner, we just have the two adjacent ones, two adjacent uh, squares, uh, which will have this property of attacking uh, only only three other uh, squares. So um, again, I'm just using k by k to get all of the possible squares, and I just remove four here because, as I explained, we attack three and we occupy one. So we subtract those squares from the total pool of squares that the second knight can occupy, okay? Um, let's move on to the third category here. Uh, this category uh, has 12 plus four um, times k minus six, okay? So let's draw the third category and you will see how I came up with this number here, okay? So how this uh, equation is here. So. The third category, uh, as we can see, by the way, it subtracts five. So it is the squares that attack uh, only uh, from which a knight will only thread uh, four other squares, essentially, okay? So let's take, uh, uh, let's use orange here, okay? Let's say this rectangle here, for example, okay? This rectangle here, number three, it will attack this one, this one, this one, and this one. So this uh, totals into four uh, squares uh, that um, the the knight will attack. Okay. Uh, so how many other squares have this property of just attacking uh, four uh, other squares? Is uh, this square here? This square. So the diagonal here essentially. Okay. We have this property. Uh, let's draw this diagonal here. So uh, how how many are these ones? So these are twelve. So in the edge, in the in the least case, uh, when they, these uh, rectangles are uh, appear, uh, which is for k equal to six, which is the first case that we uh, extract the equations for, um, we have twelve of these. Okay, so uh, the, th the the fourth diagonal essentially every diagonal uh, will have three members belonging to this category. Okay, so essentially that's the twelve. Now, uh, where does the four fit into? The four fits into the uh, number of, so four here represents the number of uh, sides we have. So we have one side here, one side here, one side here, and one side here. So a square has four sides, right? And for every such side, if we expand this, so let me just, uh, let me just do this for, um, for a bigger, uh, for a bigger uh, square, okay? For the eight by eight uh, case, uh, let's draw the the ones belonging to category one. Okay, the corner ones. 
and the ones belonging to category two, so these ones. And now let's draw the ones that belong to category three. So this diagonal here, this diagonal here, this diagonal here, which we have proved that they always belong to this category. And now what are the other rectangles that belong to this uh, third category? Are the ones that are in the sides, okay? Um, so whichever, if, if you put a knight into uh, an, a, a, a square that uh, is adjacent to a side of our chessboard, it will always attack um, only for other um, squares, essentially. So let's take the case where we put the knight here. Uh, it will attack this square, this square, this square, and this square. And the same, the same goes on for all the, for all the knights that are placed into uh, squares, which are adjacent to sides. So how, how we count this is that we have just essentially four sides. Okay, so that's why you have the four here. And then you have k minus six. So k is the length of our side. So how many rectangles we have in one side. Um, and the minus, actually how many squares we have in each side, so it's k. And the minus six counts the ones we already counted, which is the one, two, and three here. And the one, two, and three, and one, two, and three here, okay? So we exclude these six squares, so three here and three here. So we ex exclude these from the side length, and that uh, leaves us with, the, with how many side um, uh, squares we have that fulfill this property, okay? So in this case, these will also be uh, belonging to category three, as we have shown, okay? Now let's move on to the next category. So I'm gonna use the six by six and the eight by eight to show uh, how each category, uh, how, uh, to, to show how each equation works, okay? Um, uh, now again, uh, for the third category, which we have just shown, we subtract five from, from the total number of possible uh, squares because we are attacking four and we occupy one. So four plus one, five squares, which we exclude from the possible uh, positions of the second knight, okay? Uh, now let's go to the fourth category. So the fourth category uh, includes four times k minus four uh, knights, okay? And how do we count them? So let's use blue here. So category four, uh, this is this is what, um, these are, these are the knights that belong to category four, okay? Uh, so as we can see, a knight belonging to category four will attack how many times? Uh, how many squares? Six, six other squares, okay? So uh, because of the seven we have here, one is the square that we, go, we occupy and six are the squares that we attack. Uh, so let's look at this. Uh, let's say that the knight uh, we're looking at is this one here. So the, knight, the, the squares we attack is this one, this one, this one, this one, this one and this one. Uh, so the only the only uh, direction we do not attack is uh, the one that it is uh, to the side which is closer to us. So for this square here, the closer side is the one which is going downwards. So if we move downwards, uh, we're essentially outside of our uh, chessboard. So we're not gonna attack this square or this square, okay? We're outside of our chess, ch uh, chessboard uh, limits essentially, essentially here. Now, um, and this is true for all of these uh, squares and how these, how the population of this uh, category group, of this category um, is calculated uh, is four, which is, we have four sides, okay? This is obvious that for each side, uh, we're gonna have the same number, okay? There it is, I circled all of the, uh, all of the sides. So, so the, the category four uh, squares are based on their side, okay? I, I just circled them. And um, for every such site, uh, we're just gonna here have, have k minus four. Why is it k minus four? We can look at this uh, case here for this site here, the, um, this horizontal site, okay? The up horizontal site. site. Um, we have two, the result should be two, and that is uh, k minus four. So uh, what do we exclude here is these two numbers, and these, these two squares and these two squares. So essentially four squares in total, okay? And we can see this in the 
uh, with with the eight by eight chessboard as well. So uh, these will be uh, the squares that belong to category four. Okay. Again, this is what we explained before. Oh, here I did not, I did not include three. Yeah, just including it now. So uh, again, for these squares that belong to category four, uh, the, the problem is for them uh, that doesn't let them attack uh, the, the last two squares is the fact that they are very close to the side. So that the, uh, for this one, for example, the two squares which are um, up, um, upwards from its position uh, will will not be uh, actually attacked because they do not exist, okay? Um, so yeah, we have figured a way to count all of the knights that belong to group, uh, to category four. And this is, so these are the positions for the first knight if, he, if he's going to belong to category four. And how many other positions are left for the second knight is K by K, so all of the positions, minus seven, because we, are, we attack six squares and we occupy one. So seven squares in total are being ex excluded um, for, uh, the, for the options that the second knight will have uh, for, for a square to occupy essentially. And now let's look at the last uh, category, okay? So the last category is all of the squares that we have in, the, in our chessboard. Okay, so, so K by K minus sum. So this sum, as I said, is the total of all of these um, categories here. So I just summed up the, these four uh, amounts here. So four plus eight uh, plus uh, 12 plus four times K minus six plus four times K minus four. Okay, this is exactly what uh, this value has here. Uh, so I remove all of the categories of the previous categories. Okay, so these are the positions uh, left for C5. Uh, so category five uh, has to do with the knights that actually at uh, can attack uh, in all of the directions that the knight can attack, in all of the squares that the knight can attack. Um, so let's just draw this with a uh, purple here. No, not purple, we just use, yeah, let's use light blue here, okay? So uh, last category, category five, okay? It's all of the other squares because all of these other squares will always be able to attack um, eight, eight other squares, okay? They have no, uh, they have no square uh, which we attack, which they attack, that uh, is out of the bounds of the chessboard. So let's take this position here, for example. We're going to attack this one, 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 and this one. So in total, we are attacking uh, six other uh, positions here. Okay, um, and thus uh, for the second knight's placement, I have k by k minus nine. So eight, being, eight is the positions that we attack and one is the position that we occupy. So the total is nine, okay? And by extracting these five categories, I'm able to uh, extract the answer. So for each, for each uh, certain category, we have uh, calculated the result. So the, the total result here, we just take the result for every single category that the first knight can belong into. And then we just divide by two uh, because he didn't say uh, when he says uh, count uh, the ways, uh, he didn't label the knights. So um, let's say that I put, let me just put a, an empty chessboard here. Yeah, let me just put this above this here. So if I, if I put the knight number one here and I put knight number two here, okay, this uh, position here will be exactly the same as, it, as when uh, I put knight uh, to here. So I put knight to here and knight one here. So because the knights are not labeled, I am doing this uh, division by two here, okay? I divide my entire result by two. And then I just output the result, okay? So for this problem, what you need to, needed to do is just draw this, uh, figure out uh, the equations uh, for each category and just use that to output the answer. Um, so, and these equations, as I have mentioned before, they work for values of K that are also smaller than six. And that is because we, here when we subtract uh, for, the, for the categories that, uh, for category three and category four, when we uh, multiply by this K minus six and K minus four, if K is actually smaller uh, than four or six, 
uh, this will subtract the extra the extra positions that we are the extra uh, combinations of, of positions that we uh, count here okay so that's pretty much it for this problem it's a simple uh, uh, combinatorics problem I would say and just by drawing the chessboard you can extract these equations and get the answer uh, real fast um, if you got stuck on this problem and this uh, tutorial helped you uh, please leave it a like subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one goodbye